Coach Bull had a steam, try to keep him in the middle of the floor. Well, Pippen got the snap. Here's Patrick for three. Yes, the Bulls take a one-point lead at Phoenix. Oliver Miller plays it. Here's Johnson. Johnson gets, no, he could not get it off. Knocked away by Grant. It's all over. The Chicago Bulls have three straight NBA championships. What's up, guys? Colorado URB4 here, and today marks the premiere of the Chicago Bulls Last Dance documentary. Now, looking back at the Bulls, it's easy to get lost in the greatness of Michael Jordan, but today we'll be looking at how two of his teammates stepped up huge to clinch a pair of championship titles for his airness. We start off in Game 6 of the 1993 Finals versus the Phoenix Suns. Now, here the Bulls trailed by two with 14.1 seconds left. With Chicago having scored only nine points in the entire fourth quarter, and all nine of those coming from Jordan, MJ remarkably decides to give up the ball here in crunch time to a flash in Scottie Pippen. Now, it looks like Jordan actually wanted to get a full head of steam for a possible give-and-go with Pippen, as the much smaller and quicker Kevin Johnson was hounding him the entire length of the floor. But instead, with Barkley poorly gambling for the steal, Pippen immediately reacts by ripping through to the basket. Now with big man Mark West stepping up and Ainge rotating down, Horace Grant makes a superb decision by giving up a contested two for a wide open John Paxson three. With the Bulls playing on the road and having only scored nine points in the entire quarter, it's clear they were on the ropes and were unlikely to win in overtime. So in that scenario, why not go for the win then? The worst case would have been a game seven back in Chicago. Across the timeline he comes, goes to Pippen. Pippen runs down the lane, dumps it out to Horace. Paxson for three! Yeah! 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 He tips the three! Three and nine, ten seconds left, and the Bulls lead! Grand wasn't done there, however, because following the timeout, the big man showed his all-world ability once again. With the sun setting up in a double screen action for Danny Ainge, Paxson gets caught up on this screen as Ainge elects for the single, forcing Horace to temporarily switch with Ainge until Paxson recovers. Now realizing that Grant is now occupied in helping Paxson, Oliver Miller smartly flashes to the ball to free up Kevin Johnson with a handoff screen on Jordan. As Jordan gets stuck, Grant again has to scramble, as he immediately cuts off Johnson's strong hand, knowing his best chances to contest the shot are at the shoulder closest to him. Had Grant cut off Johnson going to the left, then he would have had to jump across Johnson's left shoulder to get to the right side of his body. Instead, the big man does the opposite, and the Bulls come away with the title. Two championship clinch in plays, neither involving Michael Jordan. When history remembers the 90 Bulls, all members should get their fair recognition. Shot by John 